Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Well, today I'm doing kind of a unique one. Um, have you ever wondered what it would be like to go ahead and just mix the ingredients that went into your facial cleanser, your facial creams, your shampoo, your conditioner, and come up with the right product that is just for you? Well, I might have an answer for you. It's a company out there called Mix Easy, and they allow you to mix your own products and we are going to test them out and see how they work. So if you want to see, just keep watching. But before we get started, if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, please take a moment to go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with the bell notification. And again, if you want to see how Mix Easy works, just keep watching. Hi guys, for starters, let me just let you know that Mix Easy did reach out to me and asked me to review their products for them. So they wanted me to review their face cream, their shampoo, as well as their conditioner. They let me go through the process where I got to pick out the items that I wanted in each of my um, products. And you get to uh, pick up to six as well as a fragrance or no fragrance if you didn't want that in the item. So it's very, very simple to go through on their homepage. They have all four of their products lined up. You just say mix it and it goes screen by screen. So it shows you all of the items. If you click on the item, a little box will pop up and describe to you what that um, particular item does. So again, you can pick um, any six from each one. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the face cream because that is the first product that I went ahead and ordered. When they send this to you, um, each item is wrapped up in bubble wrap, but it has a little label on it that lets you know, A, what you named the item, B, what it is, and C, what your fragrance was. And then last but not least, it also has the six key ingredients that you selected. So for mine, I chose the fragrance of Sunlight Dance. My key ingredients are gooseberry extract, damask flower, extra a rose flower extract sorry uh, cloudberry extract sweet almond oil hyaluronic acid and rose hip extract so it comes in a pump bottle like so and this runs forty dollars you get 1.69 fluid ounces and let's go ahead and give this a try oops here's that these lock i haven't even pumped them out yet you trying this with me for the first time? Okay. So it's a white cream. Not runny in any way, it's very thick. Oh, it smells really good. I don't know what Sunlight Dance is supposed to smell like, but it's really yummy. And then rubbing it in, it's very moisturizing. I wanted the hyaluronic acid in there to kind of plump up my skin and it's absorbing very quickly. It's not leaving any type of a finish behind at all. So, I mean, it's not leaving like a residue or anything like that. So that sunk in very, very nice. I like it so far. So time's going to tell because I'm going to have to try this on my face. This is just my going over everything with you type video. So I have not used any of these products yet. All right, um, before I go on, I'll mention the face cleanser is $34. You go through, through the same process with that as well, where you name it, you pick what fragrance you want it to be and what six key ingredients you want to have in that. And then also you get to choose at the beginning, I forgot to mention that, um, for your face, is your skin oily? Is it dry? Is it a combination? So you get to select how your skin is for that too. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the shampoo. So the shampoo, you get 8.45 fluid ounces. It runs $35. And I selected for my dry hair, uh, the fragrance in this is honey and milk. My key ingredients are argan oil, amino acids, jojoba oil, cloudberry extract, damask rose flower extract, and raspberry extract. And I got the little pump type tube inside. If I take that off, there is not any type of a um, plastic cap that comes on this to protect it during shipping. So. I really doubt anything could happen to it the way they have it packaged though. And it comes in that little bubble wrap too. 
So let's go ahead and squirt a little bit of this out and see what the consistency is like. Ooh, look at that. I like that it's a nice, thick, creamy consistency because again, I have dry hair, so I find that something that's creamy like this works a lot better. Oh, the milk and honey. Oh, you guys, that smells so good. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, I really like that one. So that one will be put to the test as well, and we'll see how that works out for my dry hair. And then last but not least, we have the hair conditioner. Again, you get 8.45 fluid ounces. This runs $34. And again, I selected that my hair is dry. I also got the milk and honey fragrance in it. Um, my key ingredients are jojoba oil, amino acids, silk protein, cloudberry extract, uh, magnolia lily flower extract, and red currant extract. So what I'm going to do is put all these products to the test over the coming days. I will come back in the next couple of weeks after using them and let you know how my hair and also how this uh, skin lotion or face cream has worked out for my face and let you know how it worked out. Now, um, Mix Easy was kind enough to send me a discount code and you get 5% off. So I will leave that down in the description box as well if you're interested in getting these. And their website is just so easy to use. So. Again, this is just a quick little video to introduce you to the products, and I'll be back in another week or two and let you know my results using them. Alright guys, I'm coming back to you talking about the Mix Easy products that I've been using for the last couple of weeks now. So as you recall, I had the hair conditioner, I had the sh uh, shampoo, and I had the face cream. So let's talk about all those products. Um, first of all, let me talk to you about what I normally use when I wash my hair. I normally use the Briogeo um, shampoo, and then I use, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank on this. I'll leave the name to what I use for my um, conditioner right here, but I just use a drugstore brand of that. And then I will go in and put a little bit of leave-in conditioner right on the very ends of my hair. And then I use a spray and leave-in conditioner by Briogeo as well. So um, that's the one thing I don't care about for this line is they only have a shampoo and a conditioner. They don't have other products like a leave-in conditioner. They don't have a deep mask that you can use on your hair because I do like to use those about once a week on my hair as well. They don't have any type of a purple shampoo. They don't have a heat protector type product. So there's just a lot that's missing from their line. That doesn't mean that in the future they won't have those items, but for now they just don't have them. Now, the shampoo, it left my hair feeling kind of on the dry side. Um, that could be the ingredients that I selected in it, but with my base, I selected everything as dry. And I thought I was really putting in a good amount of oils and things like that to help soften up my hair. The conditioner, I don't care for the consistency of it. I'm just going to put out a little bit here and watch how thin that is. That is way too thin. And I used probably three times the amount of conditioner from this that I used from my regular brand. So that's another thing I felt like I was just wasting an awful lot of the product. I love the smell. Oh, do I love the smell. That smells so good. Um, but is this something I would repurchase? At this time, probably not. Again, if they go in and expand their line and add some more products to it where I would have a full amount of hair care products I could select from, yeah, I would do it. Um, it my, my hair looks good. It looks shiny. It looks healthy. It feels that way. It looks very gray on the roots, by the way, because I haven't gone in and got my hair um, colored yet. I wanted to wait till after I was done testing this product. So I'm just kind of on the fence. I do hope they come out with more products, um, but for now, yeah. Let's move on to the face cream now. So this I discovered was a little bit too heavy for me to use personally during the day. It was great at night. 
I'm going to pump out just a little bit here so you can see it. Um, I personally prefer gels. That's me. So if you like creams, go for it. But this also leaves a residue behind. It does not completely soak up into your skin. And when you start putting other products on top of it, it just feels like it's getting heavy. So that's why I liked it at night. I did not prefer it during the day. Um, I'll continue to keep using it at night. Um, I wish they had, again, more of a range because for face care products, all they have is a cleanser and the face cream. They don't have any types of serums. They don't have any types of under eye creams. They don't have any types of exfoliators. So if they start expanding on their products, I think they've got something going here where you can pick out what you want to be in your product. But until they get there, I'm going to hold off um, ordering from them again. So if you want to try them out, they were kind enough to give me a promotional code where you can get 5% off. I'll leave that down below in the description box. And again, they're okay. They just didn't blow me away. Um, but they are worth trying out and seeing if it's something you'd like to mix for yourself. I think it's a great idea to give as a gift to somebody as well. Because if you know somebody that likes maybe a certain scent or they like certain products in their hair, this would be a great idea to give as a gift because it's very personalized that way. So I think that's a wrap up on everything, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button along with the bell notification. And also make sure that you hit all notifications so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. That's every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, as well as the once in a while I throw in a Weird Wish Wednesday. And if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, feel free to leave those down below. And if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. So until next time, you guys, I love you and bye-bye. Mm -hmm.